SpaceX is about to launch more than four dozen satellites and land the returning rockets in Cape Canaveral, Florida. And we're all excited about this one as we keep our eyes on it. Now we're about 30 seconds away. Yes, and we're looking at live pictures. And of course, weather can often delay these launches, but it looks like a beautiful day out there. Mm -hmm. And we are seeing, this is, you know, this is one of many launches that they've launched. This is to help Wi-Fi access across the world, a big effort by SpaceX to help, you know, everybody get access yeah. to the internet. Let's listen in now to Nine, the control room. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. Lift off, Starlink 4 8. M1B chamber pressure is nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Power and telemetry nominal. Carrying our stack of 46 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit. Now, moments ago, we throttled down the engines, reducing the speed by decreasing the flow of fuel to the engine. That's in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic Vehicle pressure. Vehicle supersonic. And, and that's exactly what Max we wanted Q to hear, a successful here. launch that we're taking a live look at now. Now, let me tell you this, the launch plane includes a rocket landing about nine minutes after liftoff. The Falcon 9's first stage will come back down to Earth for a vertical touchdown on SpaceX's drone ship. A shortfall of gravitas, which will be stationed uh, in the Atlantic Ocean a few hundred miles off the Florida coast. But again, Suzanne, uh, we always like it when it's a successful launch, and this is also to help with broadband as well. Yes, high speed, low latency broadband internet across the world. So that's why we've covered so many of these launches. Mm -hmm. Starlink is something that they hope to bring to everybody. So this is a huge, you know, one of the leading ideas by Elon Musk. We've seen so many, uh, you know, of course, Tesla, mm -hmm. all, all of the different ways he has connected people with his company, but quite an endeavor to try and bring Wi-Fi worldwide. And just a quick fact here, uh, SpaceX has already launched about 2,100 Starlink satellites to orbit uh, with more than 200 falling from orbit uh, from failures or uh, decommissioning. Uh, that's according to Space Flight on now, but the company is far from done. Uh, SpaceX has approval to launch 12,000 Starlink craft and has applied for permission from an international regulator for up to 30,000 more. So we are making uh, some progress. I know. And, and, and it's just a beautiful thing to see. Of course, we'll stay on these pictures uh, for just a couple of more seconds, and then uh, you'll get the latest on our sister station, KCAL 9, and CBS 2 throughout the day, as well as CBS News Los Angeles, and our website, cbsla.com. What a successful move here.